Oh yeah. Uh, uh, feels good. Feels good. What's up, kings and queens? It's your girl, Songbird. Stante Black. And we're back for another episode of your favorite internet show. I ain't gonna sing my song this time. Thank gosh. <laughs> Don't do that, because I still can. You missed it. Favorite internet, internet show. Ooh. Internet, internet, internet show. Polar opposites, the melanin. Edition. Like we said, the name of the show is Polar Opposites, The Melanin Edition. Melanin. If this is your first time tuning in, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit that subscribe and that notification bell is sitting under us so that you'll be notified every time a new episode, Polar Opposites, The Melanin Edition, pops up. And for our opposite fam, our returning opposite fam, what they do? Why you got to say it like that? Chilling. Chilling like a woman? Nah, just chilling. Right. I don't do no wrong. Alright. Well, let's hope not. Okay, let's get into today's topic. It is the, the importance of conscious music and how it will help us level up in our community. And what we mean by... That sounds like it came from somebody. It did. Thank you for mentioning that. And that came from KMeds underscore exclusive. First off, thank you for sending us that topic. Make sure that if you have any topics that you would like us to talk about, you can you can message us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all different social social media networks. It'll all be down below. Alright, so let's read it again. The importance of conscious music and how it will help us level up in our community. And if we hear conscious things being said to us, positive affirmations being said to us over and over and over, we have no choice but to believe. That's why I come with that. If we hear positive things or conscious music, music that makes us think and that will elevate us and get us to the next level, then that would help. Because a lot of this stuff that we have, like Panda, I got bronze in Atlanta, of course, there are females in Atlanta. I mean, females are everywhere. Or Molly, Molly, uh, Percocet, Molly Percocet. I mean, how how is that helping us, guys? Somebody, please let me know. It seems like all it does is hurt us to say that hey, we need to just pop these medications for recreational use. No, that's not helping us in any type of way. And that's why I appreciate rappers such as Wale, Jadida, um, let's see, who else? Um, Childish Gambino. Are we talking about male artists? Male and female. Janelle Monet, yes. The Erica Badu, the queen, yes. Anthony Hamilton. Okay, yeah. Music Soul Child. Brandy. That's on, we, man, I thought we were talking about people that actually make sense in their music. Come on, man. <laughs> you, know, you messed the whole list up. Nonetheless, <sighs> that that whole list. They Except just, for that one. Tell the truth. I'm sorry. I can only tell the truth. That was a neo Stop soul it. list and the conscious list. And then you Jill just, Scott. Yeah. There there are plenty more that are that we haven't even mentioned, but there are so many that do so much to help elevate our community. And they're just not they're just not on the large platform as a lot of others that we have, such as Beyonce, as Brandy was in the nineties, Monica was, and Michael Jackson is, even though he's not here, a lot of them are still helping us just be better in our communities, but they they just don't have that same selling power as a lot of others. And that's sad because they have such a wonderful message that they can pass to us. And we're missing it just because they don't have what people think is a certain star quality. Or they don't fit that cookie cutter image that's, uh, Beyonce, that Beyonce would, that Jasmine Sullivan necessarily may not fit. Because she's not the right color or she doesn't have the right sound or something. Or size, or size yes. That is a big one. Now, um, 
one of the um one of the artists that we did later like, like, I love to um we left out Kendrick Lamar you know Jay Cole yes. those are two of the, the newer um ones that I'm not a big to rap me. person so that it wasn't intentionally done I'm just not a big rap person yeah but the, um, those two um they are giving I guess the youth a gateway into you know conscious rap and you know actually you know using metaphors and that, that you know they can relate to and different things and those guys have done a phenomenal job at yes. doing that so I do commend them for that I have um, but, you guys. Um, the reason why I think that it's not um, I guess it's well it's almost feel like it's not even wanted because they a lot of people they'll see the things that go on in society and you try to speak on it and everybody brush it off. But mm -hmm. if you make a song that, you know, get you dancing doing a dumbass dance or something along that nature, then that gets on the radio, that gets tons of spin. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to pay attention to real issues because once you pay attention to real issues, that gets changed. Well, the reason why people don't pay attention to issues is because you have to have some type of solution. If you don't have a solution for it, then then, then you're still acknowledge you're just acknowledging that it's a problem. You're not giving a solution to it. Okay. That's that's fair enough. Now, um, all of those conscious and and um, neo soul artists we um, we mentioned today, excluding the one that didn't fit. Well, she's a pop artist anyway, so she's a pop R and B artist. Well, she needs to I mean, pop her ass up out that Stop it! We not just keep going with what you were saying. All of those, they have given problems and they have given solutions in their music. Yeah, all of them have done that. So I think that um, all of these people that like the Beyonces and these little um, whatever, whatever. I don't even know the, the, the people name, but the ones that's doing this this mumble rap. Um, oh, yeah, them and, and uh, designer just, and all yeah, those all things. of them, all of them. They only tapping into your your, your dumb. Your dumb side. No, I will say this. I, I kind of, I give it to Beyonce because she's, she's doing things. She is doing things. Few, a few things. She could be doing a lot more. But I commend you for what you are doing because she's giving out scholarships. Every, she started giving out scholarships to 25 students at HBCU. So hats off to you, Beyonce. Thank you. Okay, she's giving out scholarships. She's, okay, okay, I want you to look at this. You said, now I just want to make sure I get this right. You say she's giving out scholarships to 25 students at HBCUs? She can do more. No, no, she don't have to do more. She's giving out 25. She does that every year. That's 10, 10, and a 5. 25. Right? Yeah. Okay. Her music reached millions. You're absolutely right. So the message that she sends through her music... She it's way more other. detrimental than her and these 25 people. See, she helped 25 people, but she also hurt these other millions of girls. You got girls that's 8, 9, 10 years and old, 10 years old, listening to her music and thinking that everything she's saying is gospel. So they're not going to see the 25. So that, that means you have to look at who's raising these 8, 9, 10-year-olds that's listening to this and thinking that this is the gospel. Well, you, I mean, you can look at the parents, but at the same time, if she's going to be that that icon of change, you have to change your lyrics. You have to yeah, change her. And then a lot of these people that follow behind, we'll just use Beyonce. She don't even live the stuff that she say. Y'all be quick to put y'all be she, quick to put rappers on blast by them ain't being from the streets and they have, but y'all don't say nothing to Queen B. I'm gonna just say that whole Lemonade album where y'all thought she was cheating on Jay Z and ended up pregnant with twins. Y'all all out there leaving your man and she exactly. happy with her she man follow, is and pregnant. Y'all follow y'all follow her words to the T like it's gospel, but she don't even live the stuff she talking about. But y'all be quick to, to tell a rapper, oh he ain't from the street. He was soft back in the day. We used to do this, we used to do that. Y'all ain't saying that to her. So let's get off of her. Let's get back on, on this music. Now, I think that a lot of this um the, the, a lot of these a lot of these people that's in charge of putting his music out, they understand that in order to make money, society 
they have to tap into the ignorant and the, the dumb people. Definitely. They have to. Because that's the only reason why these little dumbass rappers is making money. They know you can't bamboozle a smart person or a person that actually thinks. They can't. They can't. That's why a lot of these these artists, like one of the artists, he, um, what, what was the boy name? He, he was um, uh, biracial. Um, his name God dang, I forgot what. Anyway, he started out, he was independent. 100% independent. You're not talking about Chance the Rapper. No, I think Chance the Rapper is, is, um, is He's right. still independent, though. That, that's what made me think when I was like, talking about independent artist. Which is another good artist that is doing a lot. Well, I would classify him as the conscious rapper as well. Now, I forgot. His name has slipped my mind. But he, he was independent. I don't know. I mean, I don't think Eminem is mixed. I don't think he's biracial, but I mean, why, why would Eminem be biracial? I'm just saying, you never know. What what part of Eminem? We ain't never seen Eminem. Eminem's hair in his we ain't ever seen Eminem daddy before, and Eminem had blonde hair. Okay, but you also seen his daughter before, and she is. Okay, Kim is white. He's. Biracial. If he was biracial, that little girl could still come out. Go, go on with your story. Go, on, go. On. No, I just want people to see the shit you be talking. About. I'm just That's saying. That's why saying nothing. Don't act like it can't happen. You do understand the one drop rule, right? Well, you go on with do your you story understand please. the one drop rule? Of course I don't. No, I mean, of course I do. Come on now. If his your... if his daughter had any part of black in her, her hair would be similar to. Yes, because we see it all through Michael Jackson's children. Well, Michael, all of them through. First off, I'm finna hurt a lot of y'all heart. Them ain't Michael Jackson kids. Let's start there. None of his semen is in them kids. At the fuck all. So, if you thought them was his kid, no. Suck at all. This is somebody else's kids that he adopted. You getting all uh, no, because you don't want to it up, so I want to go ahead and clear that up. Because I guess other people, since you said that, and you a black person, you must believe that. So let's go ahead and correct that, because maybe it other people believe that. Me. Then why you even brought it up? Just because I did. Go on yeah, that don't make no go sense. So back to what I was saying. If Eminem had any part of black in him, his little girl hair would be something similar to what I'm looking at now. Some, it will have a curl pattern in it. Her hair is straight. I mean, there's no black in her. And maybe mm-hmm. way down the line somewhere, but ain't nothing right now. Mm-hmm. Tell you. So, all of these new age rappers and stuff, they're not going to make no money. Because people nowadays, they don't want to hear conscious rap. They don't want to hear stuff that makes sense. They don't want to hear shit that make them think. Everybody just want to dance and, and twerk. Dance, twerk, do new challenges, and that's what the society and the who's who's want. They want you to stay as dumb as possible, and they want their kids to be as smart as possible. That's why they don't like them mingling with us. That's why they keep them out to these faraway ass schools and they send them to private academies and all this other stuff because they setting them up for success. And what we do, we set our kids up for failure. Hey, come over here and do the new dance. Do this, do that, do this. Oh, look at my baby. My baby got it all. My baby know how to do it. Can your baby read? Can your baby can your baby do math? Yeah, baby still high school. Do you do your do your baby even know who Marcus Garvey is? I know I know they know who Martin Luther, uh, Martin Luther King is, cause that if his face ain't plastered on every damn thing, I don't know what is. No, that's probably because you live over there by Dr. MLK Boulevard. Yeah, yeah, that which, do, is, which looks horrible. Yeah, do you do your um do your baby know anything about Black history other than it's in February? No, not at all. I think that the music that's now. I think that a lot of the the older rappers. That's why a lot of them are starting to make more music. You see a lot of rappers that went into retirement, they're not coming back out. Because they're like, what the hell is going on? Like, it's like no point. It's no message. It's no nothing in the music. It's just the same shit over and over. Sex, drugs, guns. Just in different forms. Yeah, well, a lot of the older rappers, this is the thing that gets me. They talk about how 
the, what the new rappers do in their music, but they never try to correct them. They never try to say, hey, well, let's let's do something that's going to uplift somebody. Let's, let's teach somebody something. They never offer a solution to a problem. That's it. This is this, a but, lot of them I've seen do not. You know why? Because every time you try to crack the young nigga, they want to fight. That is true. Every single time. Hence the the Joe Button and Amigo situation. <laughs> exactly. That yeah. yeah. That that well, this, I like all of our bad and boots. This is why. This is why the older people don't say nothing to the young niggas because they ain't trying to hear. All they trying to turn. But up that's and have setting fun. up the fu- that's setting up the future for failure. Exactly, but they don't give a fuck because they're selfish. They're only thinking about themselves. They're not thinking about the, the little kids that's coming up. They ain't thinking about themselves making money, having fun right now because I'm young and I can do what I want to do. That's all they're thinking about right now. They're not thinking about the nine-year-old that you now sublimely programming him to think the exact same way. And so when he gets to high school, he's not going to see education as something that he needs to to um, achieve. He's going to see that, hey, my, my favorite rapper just turn up and drink lean, so I'm going to do it too. But you know what they're going to say when once. Something goes bad with that 17 year old child. Oh, I wasn't trying to be nobody role model. I'm just trying to live my life. Mm-hmm. But that's the thing about it. When you're being put in the spotlight, you have to realize that there are people who are going to emulate themselves after you. Exactly. And kids, if they don't have a hero in their household, then they look through media, social media. <laughs> they look um, to artists, football players. They look at people that they can relate to, and then they, you know, sadly say they. Follow their path. And I'm not saying that that's a good thing, but that's what happens. That's reality. So what do you guys think? Do you think that we need more conscious artists that can help us level up in our community? Make sure you sound off below. And also make sure that you like, you tag a friend, you tell a friend. If you know any other artists that we failed to mention, make sure that you name them down below. All right, guys. So uh, I want to say this before we go. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're if you're a parent and you're watching this I'm not saying that there's something wrong with Beyonce or any other artist but if you care about your child's future you need to be more conscious of what you allow them to listen to mm-hmm. have access to kids are like sponges They're, they they Emulate the things they hear on the radio way more so way more so than you as an adult. So if y'all listening to all of this negative stuff, that's shaping them to the person they want to be. If you want your child to be successful in life, be conscious of what you give them access to, and then that'll better shape their future. Don't take money.